Hi, this is Jonathan Rotz, field agronomist with Pioneer. And today I want to talk with you really quickly about um, checking pollination on your corn crop. So we have a lot of crop that's through pollination, but a lot that's also coming in as well. We want to just go through a brief way of how you would check pollination. First, we're going to go get ourselves an ear out of the field we want to check. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to carefully cut right down through that husk down to the ear, and we're going to remove that husk. We're going to be careful while we do this to try to not to uh, rip a lot of silks off. So you, you want to probably do it somewhat in stages. Um, but once we get that entire husk rip off, again carefully, we pull that off, we'll give the ear a good shake. Now this would be a ear that has just started pollination. You can see that the base is pollinated, but anything that did not shake off of there has not pollinated yet. So we would want to check this. One note is that a pollen granule basically has to be on that silk for 24 hours before it's going to get to the place where it can pull off. So again, this one has started, not completed. I also went in and I found this. So this is one that's a little bit further through. Now here's where you can start to see maybe we've got some misses along the way as well, but that could also be a later pollination. We also want to take note whenever we're looking at this where the actual uh, tassel is at pollen release. So for instance in this tassel there's a lot of anthers that are already have the pollen released but we can also still see anthers down in the tassel that have not released pollen. This is a good thing meaning we still have pollen to come out in this field to pollinate some of those silks that look like they might have been missed so far. Lastly when I'm out doing this a lot of times I'll take a quick yield estimate as well so just to review that once for you as well. Remember when we're doing a yield estimate we're only gonna we're gonna count the rows around and the rows long on that ear. We want to do this a couple of times to make sure that we've got a good average. But then we multiply the rows around by the rows long by the number of plants that we have in a confirmed population. So taking, for instance, in this field, since it's 30 inches, 17 and a half feet, counting our population, that population times the rows around times the kernel length, and then we're going to divide all of that by 90,000 since there's 90,000 kernels in a bushel. That'll give you a rough yield estimate of what your uh, crop is looking at right now. Again, I'm Jonathan Rotz with Pioneer. Uh, thanks for your time and attention today, and I hope this is helpful. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.